another Thursday, and I'm so glad you're here, and we're so glad you're here, and I know that you're glad you're here. I have an amazing guest today. I am so thrilled that he's here, and I know you're going to be too. It's going to keep you smiling for a long, long time. His name is Barry Shore, and he is known all around the world as the ambassador of joy. His mission is to transform the world through joy. Now, he's also a successful serial entrepreneur with two exits and three issue patents. He's got an incredible story, and you're going to want to stay tuned right where you are to hear what happened to this man and then what has been the result. To that end, you're going to want to also visit BarryShore.com, and we'll put that up on the screen later, and the Joy of Living Institute, BarryShore.com and the Joy of Living Institute were born so that he could carry out and fulfill his mission. So with that, I'm going to be bringing on Mr. Barry Shore. And here he is, Barry, my friend. Welcome to All Things Rex. Without meaning to, I'm there. Good day, beautiful, bounded with me, loving and little beings, and good-looking people. Now, wonderful, Rex, how can I make the categorical statement that all the tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people watching you are all good-looking? Because by definition, if they tuned in to everything Sykes, everything Rex, they're always looking for and finding the good. That's the definition of a good looking person, always looking for and finding the good. And we're here to bring good in abundance to everybody listening today, inspiring them with a great announcement of something that's happening on a national basis. And we're going to learn how to live in joy daily, no matter the circumstances. How's that, wonderful Rex? That is beautiful, Barry. We got a little bit of freezing going on, but you can be heard <laughs> and you can be seen, and that's what counts. Right. Here I am to serve, as are you. So, And there may be a little bit of a lag, but we're all good. We're all good because it is so uh, important to me to be able to connect you up with this, the world, the audience. I mean, you already are traversing the world in, in, a ma in amazing and beautiful ways. Um, what I would like to do is let's just start off with um, tell everybody a little bit about yourself and about the incredible journey that you have been on. And um, uh, listen, folks, this this is amazing. Imagine, everybody, thank you, Rex. Imagine standing up in the morning, hale and hearty, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, and that evening be in the hospital totally completely paralyzed, not for an automobile accident, not a spinal injury, a rare disease that I never heard of the day before, rare disease took over my body and rendered me a quadriplegic, nothing on my body moved. I was in the hospital for 144 days. I was in a hospital bed in my own home for two years. I couldn't turn over by myself. I was in a wheelchair for four years. See my hands? I, thank God I have hands, not like yours, but thank God I have them. Four years in a wheelchair, I had braces on both my legs, my hips to my ankles for years, and that was progress. Thank God today, I am able to be vertical and ambulatory with the help of a seven-foot walking wand made for me by a Zen master, but I still can't walk a curb by myself. I can't walk up a stair by myself, and I have help 12 hours a day, seven days a week. But you hear my voice positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant. And Rex, it's all because of one word. And that word is smile. Smile. I thought you were going to say joy, Barry Shore. Yes, we'll get to joy. But the word is smile because smile stands for, <laughs> he's so adorable. Smile stands for seeing miracles in life every day seeing miracles in life every day. So quick story here. Uh, just before COVID, remember? And by the way, going away, going away, we're going to actually be with human beings again. And I was speaking to uh, 
group of about 5,000 plus people, and I'm telling the story about Barry Shore, and I'm talking about seeing miracles in life every day, and immediately people raise their hands, hey, Barry Shore, Barry Shore, I've been up for hours already, I haven't seen any miracles, and I ask them, are you here? Can you hear? Can you stand? Can you walk? I, I can't do that. Uh, can you, uh, how should we say, do you have water to drink, food to eat, place to sleep, family, friends? Every single one of those is a miracle. And what's the simple proof? The simplest proof, Rex, is a million people didn't get out of bed this morning. Why? They died. But if you're watching this and listening to it, by definition, you didn't. And if you're alive, you have an obligation to live exuberantly, to go forth and live exuberantly. So that's the beauty of seeing miracles in life every day. It still takes me 10 minutes to get out of bed in the morning, but guess what? I get out of bed. I gotta tell you a quick story, Rex. My eight-year-old niece came over to me a couple weeks ago and she says, Uncle Barry, Uncle Barry, can we spell smile, S-M-I-E-L? And I thought about it and said, sounds the same, smile, smile, why not? I asked her how come? Because she says, because then it would stand for seeing miracles in everyday life. <laughs> Under the mouth of babes, an eight-year-old. But you know what she was doing? She was creating the kind of world she wants to live in. And CREATE is a wonderful acronym that stands for causing rethinking, enabling all to excel. And that's the power of being with Rex Sykes. Let's be blunt about this. He is the master, a living master, when it comes to understanding the, the role of the unconscious and the conscious and the ability for us to do neural linguistic programming. We think, oh, we have a, a brain. And everybody's brain has about 100 billion brain cells and more than 120 trillion synapses connecting them all. And they're there for more than just deciding what kind of latte you want this morning. The ability to use your mind to transcend time and space in the awareness that, in essence, everything is divinity, is a principal cause for joy. And that's what we're going to be delving deeply into, Rex, right? The ability to live in joy daily, no matter the circumstances. <laughs> absolutely, Barry, absolutely. You are truly an amazing, an amazing person. And what I would like to do, oh, by the way, he is the author of an amazing and incredible book that I heartily recommend that you get. It is The Joy of Living, How to Stay, How to Slay, Stress and Be Happy by Barry Shore. And Barry, um, where can they get the book? Thank God, wherever good books are offered and sold, Amazon, iBooks, and a dozen other outlets. We're doing it primarily on the web. So you can get the physical copy from the web, you can get the electronic copy from the web, and we've been asked by a number of bookstores to carry, and so we're considering that as well. But right now, just go to the favorite places on the web, and it's there, Amazon, iBooks, et cetera, et cetera. And thank God, hundreds, actually thousands of people now are reading it, using it, because there's what we call smile, um, we call uh, growth with action at the end of every chapter. It's built around the the principles that I've used for years called the 11 strategies for living in joy daily, no matter the circumstances. And these 11 strategies are not just simple and easy, because that's what we all want, but they're beneficial. See, this show today, by the way, is not about Barry Shore, as nice as he is. It's not about Rex Sykes, as wonderful as he is, but it's really about you. Why are you? You becoming the best you possible. The world needs you because when you're the best you possible, you make the world a better place. You create more bridges of harmony. You create more joy, happiness, peace, and love in the world. That's what you are about. And when you use these 11 strategies and you begin to utilize them in your life, you will be happier, healthier, and wealthier. And who doesn't want that? Happier, healthier, wealthier? Guaranteed. That's the genius of living well. Guaranteed. Happier, healthier, and wealthier when you use the 11 strategies. And by the way, they're all built on the three fundamentals of life. Rex, may I tell everybody what the three fundamentals are? I've been waiting. Yes, indeed. <laughs> of course. Of course. So the three fundamentals are, number one, life. Your life has purpose. 
And when you lead a purpose-driven life, that morphs into number two. Now we're talking about the real number two, which is you can go mad, live, live a purpose-driven life, and you can go mad. Mad is a great acronym that stands for make a difference. And number three fundamental is to unlock the power and the secrets of everyday words and terms. Everyday words and terms. <laughs> wow, where'd you get those from? I got these rest? from Barry Shore. And they are available, by the way, these cards are available. Thank God we have distributed more than two and a half million and counting, thank God, every month, 100,000 plus, two and a half million cards around the world, keep smiling in 26 languages and all these other wonderful cards with uplifting messages, all available on the website, which I think is scrolling below and you'll see it, www.barryshore.com. You can get the card, the cards are free, you have to charge postage, but there's also a way that you can send these cards to friends and family, and by the way, to people you don't you don't like or you think you don't like. That's the those those are the most important to send to. Or people you think don't like you, send cards for free by email. It's all there. It's available because we're going to discuss on the show something that is fundamental. We are here to begin the national program to get rid of the joy deficit and replace it with a joy surplus. Not by, you don't have to print trillions of dollars. We can do this together. A joy surplus, we're going to start with a summer of love. That's where we are right now. Some of you may not be old enough to even remember such words, but the summer of love, I lived with it, through it, and still resonating with me, and probably <laughs> uh, wonderful Rex as well. And we're going to re we're rekindling that wonderful, by the way, in the word rekindle, is the word kind. We're going to talk a lot about kind. So the three fundamentals, again, are life. Your life has purpose. Number two, you lead a purpose-driven life. You can go mad. Mad makes a difference. And the three is unlock the power and the secrets of everyday words and terms. Let's take an everyday word, by the way, that um, really is so wonderful because people all over the world are able not just to access this, but are listening to it or watching it in Roku. Or, and thank you, by the way, to Mr. Mo Rock, from the Los Angeles Tribune for putting all this together. He is a solid guy. He is a rock. He is the Mo man. He makes momentum happen. People are watching this all over the world and it's carried by the internet, of course. And if you ask anybody, what does WWW stand for? Invariably, they'll tell you how to do the internet. And factually speaking, they're correct, Rex. But in our world, the world of the positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant, WWW stands for what a wonderful world. <laughs> and what a, is the word? W-H-E-T-A. What a wonderful world. And of course, a tip of the hat and a big thank you to Louis Armstrong Satchmo for enabling that song to go viral and touch not just tens of millions or hundreds of millions, but billions of people around the planet. And when you even hear the opening bars of that in your head or you'll hear it on the, somewhere, you can't help but smile. And right away you think, smile. See miracles in life every day, or see miracles in everyday life. But the point is, whenever you see the letters now, WWW, or you read it, you hear it, you're going to think, oh my gosh, Barry Shore, Rex Sykes, yes, joy. <laughs> it is such a blessing. I don't know, there we go. It's such a blessing having you on the show. It truly is. And um, hey, I want to take you back just a little bit. And yes. we have some great Mo. Momentum going here right okay. now. So thank you, Mo Rock, and thank you, Barry Short. Um, but you did mention the 11 strategies, and you said to to find joy and to triumph over any circumstances. So let's go back to your circumstance for just a little bit and, and revisit that. I mean, you woke up with a debilitating disease that, that caused you to be hospitalized for a long time. Mm -hmm. and And so how... Because, I mean, people are watching, they're going to go, you got such an exuberance, such a joy, obviously a love for life and a love for helping people. But, you know, is it always that way? And if not, what did you do to adjust and make your attitude such that how did you find the joy so that other people can find that as well? So, first of all, thank you so much for asking, Rex. And let's go to the heart of the issue. Am I human? Well, it all depends who you ask. My wife might say sometimes yes, sometimes no, but the answer is yes. So do I have moments or did I have moments? Very few now, but 
I'm in the hospital or at home, completely, totally paralyzed, can't move. I'm going to urge somebody to do an exercise in just a moment or two. It takes about eight seconds. Uh, there were times. And yet, I had been blessed for the previous 55 years that I was on the earth with many mentors in my life that had guided me to understanding that living life to the full was really the only way to live. And the main mentor I had in this is my mother. My father also was very important, but it was my mother. And I'll tell you why. Here's the story. Imagine the following. You're a kid, and you have on your face a red wine stain that covers about three quarters of your face, and it's pockmarked, and you're a girl. Now, in today's world, it's not easy. Anti-bullying and all that sort of stuff. But kids are kids and people are people. My mother would be over 100 years old now. So 100 years ago with that, that was, uh, that was as difficult as you can imagine. And yet, my mother didn't just get through it. Or she said, I'm not going through stuff. I'm growing through stuff. This is my mother. My mother made a choice. She said it was around the age of 11 or 12. It's hard to imagine that a kid could do that. And she said, I'm, I'm going to just live, not as if I didn't have it, I'm going to live the most happy life I possibly can. And she did. Not only did she get married, handsome, fine man, had three kids, I'm the oldest, firstborn son, two sisters, and a wonderful life and friends and, and just lived well and had grandchildren and such. But we had, by growing up, we had an opportunity to meet a number of my mother's friends who she was in high school with. Because in those days, not a lot of people went to college and she didn't, she could have, but she decided not to. And uh, they told me, hey, this is your mother. This is Frances. <laughs> and so she is exuberant. I mean, she was the embodiment of exuberance. I'll give you one quick story, and then I urge people to think about doing something. So my mother, uh, we had a supermarket not far from where we live. I grew up in a place called in Brookline, Massachusetts, right outside of, of Boston, in the, in, the, in the shadow of Fenway Park, by the way, for people who know these kind of things. And even though watching all over the world, you just look up Fen Fenway Park, Boston Red Sox. And I had a job there uh, selling scorecards when I was a kid. So anyway, in, in our little town there, there was a supermarket, which wasn't very large in those days. And uh, we, we shopped there. And the manager of the store came over to my mother one day and said, Mr. Shore, we're thinking of opening up something called a courtesy booth. They were smart enough to understand it was not the complaint department. You hear that? Growing up, we had stores that had complaint departments. What? Obviously not smart. Courtesy booth. And they said, would you consider working in the courtesy booth? A few days a week, you can make all the hours, whatever you want or no one, and we'd love to have you. And of course, they pay her and such. And so we came back, we had a family meeting, and of course, kids, you know, we said, yeah, yeah, what's good? Mom is heading the courtesy booth. Okay, great. So she did it. I'll just make two, three points. Number one, she was there for eight years. <laughs> they thought it was going to be an experiment for a year or two. Number two, it was so successful that they replicated it in all the 12 stores of the chain. And that chain ended up being sold to a larger chain. It's still it's one of the most famous grocery chains in all of New England. And number three, when my wife, when my wife, when my mother, 40 and sleep, slept, when my mother retired, they not only gave her a nice banquet and a beautiful Steuben glass bowl and a nice large check, but they told her that year over year in that particular store and throughout the other stores where they had a good courtesy booth modeled on my mother, the stores increased their business by some two and a half, sometimes almost 3% a year. In the grocery business, that's large. That's large. <laughs> they attributed it to my mother in the courtesy booth who became the face, you hear this again, my, the, the face of the star market. And people shopped there because of my mother. Okay, the food was nice, the prices, they, they didn't, that was beside the point. There was an atmosphere of what I call joy. 
that permeated the process. And that's what happens when you live in joy daily. It becomes not just infectious, it becomes the underlying, underpinning way of living life to the full. So here's something I'd like people to consider. Rex, this takes about eight seconds. And I urge people, don't do this for more than eight seconds, you'll flip out. Tonight, when you go to sleep, lie down on your bed, on your back, just breathe easily for 20, 30 seconds, and then tell your feet, move, and they don't move. Tell your legs to move, they don't move. Tell your fingers to move, they don't move. Tell your arms to move, they don't move. Tell your body to move, it doesn't move. Nothing on your body can move. Again, not more than eight seconds, you'll freak out. That's how I was for years. The ability to live through that with the positive, purposeful, powerful, pleasant mindset that no matter what the circumstances, I'm going to make life as good as humanly possible. That came from role models. Again, primary one, my mother. And thank God, as you'll see throughout the book, several others throughout life. I mean, Talk about living a life of blessing. Did it happen right away? I heard something, I met a person, and right away came. Hello, human. And did I have my moments? Human. But when you're always moving forward, growing through things, not going through things, growing through things, and guess what? You will be able to live in joy daily, no matter the circumstances. It's awesome, Barry. You know, um, <clears throat> Where I came into my power was after a crisis. The comparison to yours is minuscule at best, but it was my personal crisis. And I got through to the other side. And one day, you know, in meditation, I realized, you know, this world, I'm here for however long I'm here. And I had, at the time, I was about 25, and I had never thanked my feet for carrying me through the world. I stubbed my toes, I've broken bones, I've injured myself in many ways, but I'd never thanked myself for being able to be mobile for 25 years and get around the planet. And so I started to thank my feet. And I thanked everything I could, every tissue, every the soles, the bones, the cartilage, you know, and then I worked my way up my body, went through all the organs, all the process, everything I could think of. So I spent hours literally thanking myself one thing after the other, after the other. And when I was done, I was just so elated to realize that the body that we have is just so incredible and so miraculous and our the subconscious mind the brains that we have are so beyond anything we can even begin to attempt to describe or appreciate that it occurred to me that i'm on this planet now and i'm in a state of gratitude and i realized that you know if you if you believe the bible we were put to live in a garden of eden and because we chose knowledge over life we ended up not being in Eden. And I went, if I'm on this planet, then I deserve to not only one live as if I'm in Eden, but also create Eden. And I'm a steward of the planet and I'm a steward of my brothers and sisters. And everything at that moment changed. And I was, and I was 25 years old. And I realized at that time that if I can't live with fun and joy and delight, then why am I, what am, you know, why am I here? Well, you said something earlier that um, I so appreciate, and I and I want to reemphasize that, and that is, it always comes down to making a choice, and you can choose to live joyfully or not live joyfully. And some people, by default, don't make they don't think they're choosing, but they're choosing by default to not do anything. So, Barry, can you talk more about choice and how um, making a choice? like in your case, how, how you lived and transformed yourself uh, again, because it's just such a powerful story and you live with such exuberance. It is so beautiful. And that's something else I think that um, it should be um, maybe discussed a little bit as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna forward it right now, if you don't mind. And that is a lot of people live as if they're wearing a straight jacket and they don't, aren't very expressive and they don't, aren't very loud and they aren't very expressive. And yet you have every right to be, we deserve to be, you know, feeling and moving and living, you know, joyously. So, and you exemplify that in so many ways. So perhaps we can, we can go from choice into living large. 
Wow. So this is one. First of all, wow, which a lot of people say, and I say it to you right now, wow is a great acronym that stands for words of wisdom, which you just heard, words of wonder. And I urge everybody to consider singing regularly during the day. <laughs> and I, I think you may have the card in your collection, Rex. If you can find it, it'd be great. But there's uh, six words that I have uh, been able to pen and share with people, thank God, thousands of people around the world. These six words, when you begin to internalize and utilize them and leverage in your life, will make a difference for you and everybody around you. And these six words are the most important six words you'll ever learn. And they are choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Let's take a look at these six words, wonderful Rex, in the context of a word called stress. Stress. Stress, interesting enough, is the most searched word on the internet. Now, right now, aside from vaccine, vaccines and COVID, those are more searched. But generally speaking, over the past 10 years, stress is the most searched word on the internet. How to reduce it, get rid of it, mitigate it, eliminate it, whatever it is, because it affects everybody all the time. So I have been able to take that word and, again, uncover the secrets and the power of understanding stress and turn it into something positive. So let's take a look at it. Stress is an acronym that stands for Stomach Turning Reality Enabling Self Sabotage. Ah! You know what happened? I lost my job. If I lose the house, my cousin committed suicide. The kids are going crazy. The country's falling apart. Ah! That's how people respond to or think about the word stress on a regular basis. And can understand it, right? Except when you understand it this way. Stress is an acronym that stands for stomach turning reality. Yes, you may have lost your job. Yes, you may lose the house. Yes, your cousin did commit suicide. Yes, the kids are going crazy and not back in school. And the country looks like it's falling apart. Enabling self success. Stomach turning reality. It is a tough one. Enabling self success. How you respond in any given situation is going to determine what's going to happen in your life. When you choose, you have a choice, not chance, determines your destiny. When you choose to respond in a positive, purposeful, powerful, pleasant way at the moment and at the succeeding moments, when that stress is most Yes, I, forcing upon you. There it is. Happy by choice. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Choose to be happy and say, what can I do in this given situation? And guess what will happen? Success will be yours. It may be a tiny step forward, but it's a step forward. It may be a large step. doesn't matter. But once you move forward, you are the engine that is moving your life. You are now determining what's going to happen. And when you do that, everything changes because the mindset is what's the key. Now, I would like to interrupt my own self and urge everybody to understand. I use a lot of four-letter words. I'll use them throughout the rest of the show. But, of course, the four-letter words that we use, Rex, in the world of positive, purposeful, powerful, pleasant are life, live, hope, free, grow, gift, pray, play. <laughs> words make a difference. Four-letter words. And the, we even use the four-letter F-U word. And you know why? Because of the shock value and it's fun. And the four-letter word that we use is fun. Fun. F U capital N capital N fun, but I know people in the audience friends say Barry Shore Barry Shore fun is only spelled with three letters, not in our world the world of the positive purposeful powerful pleasant fun is spelled F U capital N capital N so after the show when you see your family and friends you have a twinkle in your eye and a smile on your face you point your finger and say F U everybody <laughs> remember to add right away capital N capital N I said where'd you get that I said well look. I was listening to Rex Sykes. He had on this nutty guy, nut stands for never underestimate thanking. He had on this nut who says, I want to teach the world how to F you, capital N, capital N. People laugh, and that's good because now you have a new rapport. 
You create a new bond and it all begins with you. You're now the one, you're now emanating this light called joy, this light called happiness, this light called peace, this light called love. And it can start with something as simple as F you, capital N, capital N. So let's move from there. We talked about stress and we uncovered the positive, purposeful, powerful, pleasant asthma, the six most important words that you can ever learn, choice, not chance, determines your destiny. And as Rex held up, one of the 11 strategies is your words make a difference. Life and death are in the hands of the tongue, not a gun, not a knife. It's in the hands of the tongue. When you say to somebody, did I tell you today how much I appreciate you? Let me say it again. I'm saying to somebody else, did I tell you today how much I appreciate you? You'll have such a response. Sometimes it's jaw dropping. Sometimes you'll see a huge smile. Every time, though, you'll get a response, a good response when you say things like that. It's one of the most important things you can ever do. When you learn how to think in good, speak in good, and act in good, then you become a spiritual chiropractor. You know in a chiropractor, right? Sometimes you're actually feeling a little bit out of sorts in your body, right? You ache and the person goes in and cracks this and that and, ah. Well, we are our own spiritual chiropractors. When we align our thoughts, our words, and our deeds, and they're all in good, then we become the conduit of good. You become a cog, a channel of goodness, a child of God. People think of a cog as a small piece in a big machine, doesn't mean anything. On the contrary, you're the essence. We can't further this planet, this spaceship without you. You are the key. Remember, it's not about Barry Shore, it's not Rex Sykes, as great as he is, not even about Mo Rock, as great as he is. It's about you. Why owe you becoming the best you possible? Because when you do that, make the world a better place. Awesome, Barry. So let me ask you, there's a, there's a phrase that's popular out there that says, you know, energy flows where attention goes. So what is it that you put your attention on that brings you and gives you such great energy and exuberance so that other people uh, who sometimes feel down or they feel tired or they feel listless can experience the kind of energy that you have? Get ready, sex. sex. <laughs> I like that. It's not Rex Sykes. It's sexy sights. <laughs> okay, get ready, everybody. Put on your seatbelts. Here we go. Dog poop. What did he say? Dog poop. <laughs> this is a national movement we're starting right now on Rex's show, and we're getting rid of the joy deficit. We're going to have a joy surplus. So here's where I go. My mind goes to dog poop. People say, what is he talking about? Well, here's what everybody knows what dog poop is, right? I mean, you've either seen it, stepped in it, avoided it, but it's there. You know what dog poop is. Well, dog poop, again, in our world, the world of the positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant, is an amazing acronym that stands for doing of good, power of one person. When you really understand, I don't mean just here, I mean here, I mean in the tummy, when you really understand that what you say, what you think, what you do makes a difference for you, for your family, and by definition, all living beings, you will want to do good. You'll want to ask the four most important words, how can I help? Like the sixth most important, these are the four most important words. How can I help? Because when you start thinking that way, you transform yourself. And that's what we're talking about, Rex, right? We're talking about transformation. You want to transform yourself into a giver. The joy of living can be summed up in one word, giving. Now, I will add immediately, giving does not become a doormat. Giving doesn't mean that you become completely agreeable all the time. Giving doesn't mean that people can push you around or expect anything. But when you become a giver, the mindset, the heart set, 
everything about you aligns perfectly so that you live in harmony. I like people talk about a balanced life. That's very nice. When I think about a balanced life, I think about a juggler or somebody sitting, you know, standing on one of those boards, tippy boards, go like this and, you know, okay, I'm balancing, but I, you know, I'm just going to keep it going. Harmony is a different kind of thought process. Harmony means you're at one with the world. There's a, an interesting word that is uh, a little bit difficult in today's environment uh, and happened a lot because of COVID. And the word is spelled A-L-O-N-E. Most people mispronounce it. They think it's pronounced alone. We know, Rex, that it's really pronounced all one. When you think that way and you act that way, you speak that way, that is, you're part of the all one. <laughs> you can't be a portion away from it. When you're part of the all one, you're part of the all one, you're in flow. We have acronyms for all of these words. So let's, let's if I may, I'd like to share three simple, practical tips and tools that people can put into play really immediately after the show. Should we do that? Oh, you're on mute. Isn't that funny? The, the, the star of the show put himself on mute. We I need you. I mouth, okay. my, my mouth my words. I mouth my words. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need you. We'll grab your back. So here we go. We're going to give mine. three tips, practical, easy tips that people can do that will not just give you hope, but will give you confidence. Hope is wonderful, by the way. Helping others progress every day. That's what winners do. You want to be a winner? Winners help others. That's the definition of who. Helping others win is what you do. That's the definition of how. And win is winners inspire endurance. This is a marathon. This is not a sprint. We're here for as ever, however long you're here for. Whether it's minutes more, hours, days, years, decades. <laughs> it's here. Whenever you're here, you're part of the all one. You're never alone. They mispronounce it. We learned how to pronounce it right. So here are three things that we can do right away that will generate you into another being. Here we go. Number one is da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da, become a joy generator. Well, that's nice. How to become a joy generator? You go to Barry Shaw's website, www.whatawonderfulworld.barryshaw.com. Scroll down to the homepage. Lots of free accessible, wonderful things, and you'll see how to become a joy generator in 55 seconds. You know, it takes a couple of minutes to learn it, but when you do it, you're generating joy in 55 seconds to your family, your friends, and all living beings on the planet in 55 seconds. Thank God I'm honored and humbled to tell you that we've taught this to thousands and thousands of people around the world and people are doing it regularly so on most of the continents all the continents and most of the a lot of countries in the world and people do this twice a day once before noon once or after 55 seconds you're a joy generator just like the generating stations for electricity that's what you are because the energy that you generate in joy can never be stopped there's no wall there's no Anything that can stop that energy from flowing throughout the world, especially when you consciously and conscientiously do it. So learn how to become a joy generator. That's number one. Number two, number two is so much fun that you're going to be plotting, you're going to, you're going to be sending letters to Rex and say, this is so fabulous. I love it. I love it. What is it? Walking is a wonderful thing. I'm not able to walk like you are, but I walk. And I, a little bit of the ambulatory, great. Running is wonderful. I can't run them anymore. And when I see somebody running, I say, show off. But it's okay. <laughs> but running is great. When you get over the age of 30, it has a, an effect on your knees. But how about the in-between one, which is skip. Skip. Yes, skip. Isn't that fabulous? Skipping is so much fun. Everybody remembers doing it as a kid. Now it's time to regain your kidness, which becomes kindness. Regain your kidness and skip. So when you're walking outside, okay, skip for half a block. And it, it doesn't matter if anybody's watching. By the way, it's even better if people are watching. It's better if you're embarrassed. That's wonderful because people say, what are you doing? You say, well, I heard Barry Shore. He said, skip. 
and it makes a difference. Now, it becomes even more interesting when you can hold the hand of somebody, whether they're eight or 88, and you skip with that person. Now, we all have two hands, thank God, or most of us do, 99.99%. So hold two hands, one on each side, and skip. <laughs> you change the world. You change the world. Skip. So that's two things. Become a joy generator. It takes 55 seconds. Skip half a block, a block. Do it every day. And number three, this is so wonderful. Use the two most powerful words in the English language three times a day. Rex, do me a favor. Hold up three fingers, please. Yeah, he knows how to do it. Scout's honor. Okay. Use these two words, the two most powerful words in the English language three times a day, consciously and conscientiously, from now forward for the rest of your life, and you'll make a huge difference in the world. And these two words are, drum roll, fanfare, da 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank stands for to harmonize and network kindness. To harmonize and network kindness kindness. The Dalai Lama has been quoted as saying, I read in his writings, be kind whenever possible. And it's always possible. Let's take an example. Imagine right now, thank God, we can go back to coffee shops, right? You walk into your coffee shop and you order your fancy latte for $5 and you sit down so it brings it to you. What do you say? Thank you. You walk into the coffee shop and you order your fancy latte for five dollars. Sit down. A few minutes go by. Nobody brings it to you. So you go to the counter and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, we forgot. We're so busy. We'll bring it to you." Go sit down. A few more minutes go by. Nobody brings it to you. And then somebody comes. You say, "Thank you." You're walking out of the coffee shop. It's raining out. Somebody holds the door open for you, Rex. And what do you say? Thank you. You're walking out of the coffee shop and it's raining out. And somebody slams the door in you. What do you say, Rex? Thank you. You're late for an appointment. You're stuck in traffic. Somebody cuts you off. You say, Thank you. Breaking up there a little bit, Barry. Barry, you, 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 you've kind of frozen. You know what I'm going to do? This is the perfect time. We're going to wait for Barry to get back. We're he, we can understand him for whatever's going on with the internet. We're going to take one minute. And we'll be right back. Barry, I hope you can hear me because uh, I'm going to use this moment for uh, a commercial. I'm going to thank you and thank the audience, and, and we'll be right back in one minute. Hello, and welcome to the Los Angeles Tribune. Since 1886, our name has been a part of the world of journalism. We've earned a reputation for being a publication that practices integrity, authenticity, and responsibility. For general inquiries, contact today. Thank you on behalf of the Los Angeles Tribune team. And we do thank the Los Angeles Tribune team and Morak for allowing us to do the show and making everything possible. Barry, are you back now? I can see you. I can hear you. Can you hear me, Tommy? And, and now we thank the powers that be because you're back. There was a moment there where it was getting like, you know, uh, breaking up. So you're back and you were talking about thanking. Yes. And the last thing was thank so you. Go thanking, wrong. even though somebody cut you off in traffic and you got up in the middle of the night, and you stub your toe and it hurts. And you said, thank you. Thank you. Because thank stands for to harmonize and network kindness. Kind stands for keep inspiring noble deeds. This is what Rex Sykes lives for. He inspires noble deeds. Kind also stands for connect in nature daily. It's so important to do that. Connect in nature daily. Go outside. Breathe. Not just shallow. Breathe deep into your tire diaphragm. Now, most people don't know where it is. They can't spell it. So we just say, breathe into your tummy. <sighs> breathe in and slowly breathe out. Do that four times in a row. It takes 28, 32 seconds. And right away, you're feeling a more calm, aware mind. And that's what we're about. So these three tips to be able to become a joy generator, to skip, 
<laughs> and if you skip by yourself, that's great. You want to skip holding one person, two people, even better. And learn to say thank you consciously and conscientiously three times a day from now for the rest of your life and urge everybody, share this. Share is a great acronym, a great word, Rex. It stands for spreading happiness and rejuvenating energy. That's what share is, spreading happiness and rejuvenating energy. That is so beautiful, my brother Barry. I got to say, uh, that's just absolutely wonderful and delightful. And I, I know uh, those of you who are watching the show are enjoying the show. I can see by your comments. I also want to give a shout out to some of some of the people who are here. Uh, Dr. Natalie Forrest is here. She has her own show coming up on on uh, the Los Angeles Tribune, but you've also seen her with Mo Rock on the Leadership Series and other places. There's Dr. Natalie's show, and so many other uh, incredible people. Uh, we we heard uh, we got a hello from Mr. Ori Spado, the accidental gangster. He's definitely a, a good friend and a wonderful man, and we appreciate him being here. And there's his book. A friend of mine, Nick Laughlin from Australia, uh, I see is, is is around, and there's just so many people that I. I can't say hello to, but I do want to just give a shout out that we we love you being here. We hope you will share the show. And there's my book, Life on Your Terms. By the way, when we're done, I'll tell you how you can get a free $500 training, absolutely free when you purchase that book. But for now, um, I, I want to return back to my incredible guest, Mr. Barry Shore. And um, and Barry, you know, I love, <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Even I laugh when I see that picture. <laughs> but, you, but, but you also have a show, and I'm a guest on your show coming up. At that some is point. absolutely correct. I am honored and humbled to tell everybody that Rex agreed to be on my podcast, The Joy of Living, heard everywhere that you can find podcasts. And it's going to be broadcast, uh, I, think, I think, the 20th of July. On the year two zero two one, and it'll be uh, on the on the uh, the podcast for the next century or two, and people will be listening to it for days and weeks and years to come, and they'll say, "Wow, what an amazing energy person that is, that Mister Rex Sykes." <laughs> well, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to share with you. I mean, and the audience that um, one of one of the things that drives me is to help like you connect people up with their joy and. I don't now have the same retreat center that I did uh, a decade ago, but uh, we used to have people fly in from all around the world to participate in training, brain training and life training and neuro-linguistic programming training and, and, and all sorts of good things. And one of the things that we always encourage, and I, and I have for now 40 years, has been to recapture the joy of, of learning as a child. The child gets captivated by a butterfly, fascinated, can chase it for hours, can watch, play with a stick, it doesn't really matter. Because I'm convinced that what happens with people when they age is they end up perpendicular to the planet. They're this way, yes. this way. But they forget that as a child, you did spinning, you did skipping, you did somersaults. I encourage people, it's always funny because we see these people of all ages up into their 80s rolling down the hills. Because I say, just go roll down the hill for crying out loud. You know, because it, it massages the inner ear when you, when you literally, that's why yoga is so beneficial. If you can stand on your head or you can, you know, dip your head below the horizon, you massage the vestibular system in your ear. So rolling, somersaults, cartwheels, things like this um, is, is truly, truly a remarkable thing for the human being. Yeah, it unleashes the inner being. I'd like to share, if I may, Rex, uh, just a, a, I was, I'd like to give a lot of examples of people, but just to share this an insight that we accomplished. We, we thought of a number of years ago, uh, when I was leaving the hospital, the doctors were so kind to put their bedside man saying, now, you know, Barry, you're never going to walk again, and but, but don't worry, we have certain things to help you and make you live life. And say, Was I listening to them? No. <laughs> I didn't tell them they were wrong and listen to their faith. Okay, my, I had my own thoughts, and I came up with something that's very helpful for, thank God, many, many thousands of people who are in certain situations throughout life, and that is that diagnosis is not destiny. Oh, God. Thank diagnosis, you. Diagnosis, not destiny. Now, let's take that and go to the next step, which is we talk about age. So I know that everybody, everybody, especially when you get over the age of, let's say, 20, everybody has four ages that you live with simultaneously. You have a chronological age. You have a metabolic age. You have a 
mental acuity age, and you have an SOW. So chronologically, I am 72. Metabolically, I'm 47. Why? Because we didn't even talk about this, but I swim. <laughs> Ready for this? I, I swim two miles a day, six days a week now, and I've been doing that for a dozen years. I have over 8,166 miles accumulated because so I write down every half mile, mile, two miles, etc. So that's my physical, my metabolic age. My mental acuity is about 28 because I work with a lot of 28 from 25 to 32, and I, I mix it up with some of the best. And my SOW, and people say, SOW, what is that? He's not a sow. Is he sowing something? Yes. Well, SOW stands for sense of wonder. You see that picture we just had up there? Sense of wonder. I'm an eight-year-old. Yes. And as long as you stay somewhere between six and nine, don't get into double digits because then it starts closing in on you. But you can keep your SOW, your sense of wonder, to about eight. Then you can really live life to the full. And you become a Rex. Rex stands for rejuvenating exuberance exponentially. <laughs> that's who he is. And that's what you want to do. Remember, you have four ages that you live in simultaneously. You're chronological. Don't let it determine who you are just because you're a certain number. You're metabolic. You're mental acuity. In other words, B, what we'll say in a second, your SOW, keep it between six and nine. And I like the acronym of play ball. Ball stands for be a lifelong learner. That's Rex Sykes. That's Rex Sykes. Be a lifelong learner because when you are, the world is yours. The world, you become attractive. And that's Barry Shore. Thank you, dear sir. <laughs> that is sure. And by the way, joy, joy is an acronym that stands for generating ongoing youth. Yeah, like her, generating ongoing youth. Now people say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Generating, Barry Shore, is spelled with a G in the beginning. Well, yes and no. We go by sound, not just by how you think you spell things. It's generating ongoing use. I may be a boy, because I see a little mustache, but it doesn't matter. But it is generating ongoing youth. That's what joy is all about. So to live in joy, happiness, peace, and love, that is our mandate. That is our ability. That is what is our God-given right. And when you do it, you make yourself better. You become happier, healthier, and wealthier. As I said, who doesn't want that. Everybody wants to be happier, healthier, wealthier. And by the way, Rex, as I think I mentioned to you prior, uh, we are beginning, we're in the process of building a community, a community called the Joy of Living Community that we're going to be inviting people to join. I think we'll be opening up in September, and it's going to be fostering these principles, these ideals, these, these literally magical, mystical wondrous ideas that can literally go throughout the world. And we're going to make a difference. We are all going to be mad people. <laughs> that is so absolutely amazing and so wonderful. I want to hear a little bit more about it. Uh, but again, I want to remind you to get the joy of living from Mr. Barry Shore. His website is barryshore.com. And he is an ambassador of joy, transforming the world I'm not just person by person, but by spreading joy around the world. And I'm so glad that you're here. You, um, you know, you touch our heart so deeply with, I think, your enthusiasm, your sincerity, your, your, your integrity. The, you, you embody all that you do. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's, it's, it, it comes off of you in such a, in such a wonderful and, and authentic way. And I think that that, that alone, you know, the idea that you are living your joy and spreading your joy um, is, 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 I would like to help you create a conspiracy of joy. Woo! You're right, kid. Do we have uh, another minute or two so we can do a big hug in front of thousands of the people and uh, I can give a blessing? I do that? Oh, of course. Of course you may. We, we, we've got a little bit more time and and then I know that we've got to go, but uh, but yes, please, Barry, it's, it's yours. 
Okay, so we're going to do a hug with Rex, and again, in front of hundreds of thousands of people, and I'd like everybody to join in. By the way, join is spelled, of course, J-O-Y-N. Join. <laughs> Whenever you start seeing these things, you can do that, like the word journey. So it's capital J, capital O, and then the Y at the end. It's a journey, but it includes the word joy in journey. And journey really is joy, and you are never ending. That's the U-R-N-E. You are never ending. Enjoy. That's journey. Okay. So here we go. Hug is an acronym. And by the way, thank you to Mo, who's right on top of stuff. This is so important. Everybody should give a big bravo to a producer that knows how to pull up uh, images on the spur of the moment. So HUG is a great acronym that stands for Harmonizing Unlimited Giving. You hear that? Harmonizing unlimited giving. It's for everybody in the world. I'm going to embrace Rex, but it's going out for everybody. So here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Gotcha. <laughs> and our blessing, go forth. Live exuberantly. Spread the seeds of joy, happiness, peace, and love. Oh, well, man, you are so amazing, sir. Go oh, make a difference. You know, it, it is so true, though. If When people are feeling not good, they should go out and help another person who's worse off than them because then, because then you feel that much better. So spread it forward, pay it forward, enjoy it forward. And, and live with joy. And uh, Mr. Barry Shore, you are just, and not just, but you are an amazing, remarkable, incredible person. I'm so glad to have you on the show today. I'm so glad that I'm on your show. We actually recorded the show that I'm on with Barry that will be in the future, uh, but I get to be here live with Barry again today, and that's a total thrill. That's a total thrill. First of many. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, wonderful Rex, and all the bountiful, beautiful, beloved, immortal beings that are listening and will be sharing with other people. Because that's really the key. You know, this whole thing about social sharing, you click something and share. That's very nice. But the real social sharing is an eyeball to an eyeball or pick up the phone. Do something that is truly interactive. And when I mentioned, by the way, picking up the phone, it's something that I... Uh, really strong on i urge people to pick up the phone especially with people that you either haven't spoken to in more than a month or two months years and especially people who you think that you don't want to speak to you do that you change the world you make a shift happen most people somehow i don't know why that f in shift somehow drops out but it's shift happens when you do that so do something. Go out there. Make it, yeah, make a difference. And uh, again, like it's it's hard to put into words. And I love words, Rex, how much that this is meant to me. And I believe we're going to touch a lot of people and um, and keep this rolling because again, we're here to overcome the joy deficit with a surplus without printing trillions of dollars and causing who knows what. We're here. To pocket, to so, make sure the world emanates joy. This is awesome, Barry. I'm going to make a comment, and then I'm going to invite you to do just, uh, again, a, a few closing remarks. But I want people to know that if you're watching the show live, you know, you've obviously been able to leave comments. And uh, we didn't have any questions today because we, I forgot to even ask for questions. I've been so enthralled. And, uh, but uh, we'll, we can have Barry back another time and ask questions. But here's the thing. Um, if you enjoy the show, this is on multiple platforms. It's on the Los Angeles Tribune Facebook. It's on Los Angeles Tribune's YouTube channel. It's on, on uh, my LinkedIn profile. It's on Periscope, Twitch, and Twitter. And it's also on Roku TV. So if you people didn't get to watch the show live, they can watch it in replay. And what I encourage you to do is whether you're on Facebook or YouTube or wherever there's a like button or a subscribe button, to go ahead and hit the like buttons 
go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you're always notified about when the show is because we re we stream live and record every Thursday. And today, the, the day with uh, the incredible Mr. Barry Shore. And so, Barry, I want to give you the closing remarks, uh, you know, a, a way to close out in about a minute or two and uh, say final words. And then um, I will uh, come back and I will close out the show. But uh, if you enjoyed the show today, folks, please do spread it, share it, uh, post it on your walls, tweet it, whatever you can do to move the message forward and to help more people to live with joy. And with that, I'm going to pass it back to Mr. Barry Shore. Thank you, wonderful Rex. Our words to you are recognize that you are a beautiful, bountiful, beloved, immortal being. And when you learn to live that way, you'll use the three fundamentals. You know that your life has purpose and you lead a purpose-driven life. You can go mad. In this case, mad means make a difference. You make a difference with your thoughts, your words, your deeds. And the third is uncover the power and the secrets of everyday words and what we discuss. W.W. Wonderful world style. See miracles in life every day, as my eight year old niece says. See miracles in every day. Create the world you want to live in, causing rethinking, enabling all to excel. Say thank you times a day, consciously and conscientiously, to harmonize and network kindness. Use four letter words. Yeah, love, life, hope, grow, free, give. Pray, play, <laughs> all the world, F you, capital N, capital N, and make sure that you understand that the joy of living is involved in giving. So therefore become a joy generator. You can find it on my website. It's a free video. It'll teach you how to do it. Do it twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, 55 seconds. Skip. When you skip you know that you make a difference because you only have your chronological age, you have your metabolic age, you have your mental acuity, and keep your SOW, your sense of wonder, somewhere between six and nine. And then this, what's going to happen is one person at a time, dog poop, doing of good, power of one person, one person, another, another, another. And we will change this joy deficit into a joy surplus and say, yes, I am here to live life to the full. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, Mr. Barry Shore. Thank you. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day because I know you will. And we will be in touch. As uh, Of course we will. And we'll be talking in just a little bit. But I want to thank you for being here, for sharing your exuberance and your joy and your wisdom and your wonder with all of us. Thank you, sir. Yay, beautiful, bountiful, beloved, immortal beings and good-looking people. Remember, you're good-looking because you're always looking for and finding the good. <laughs> I am so glad that we got to spend this time together with Mr. Shore. And uh, I know that you are too. <laughs> they brought up my book. So I'll, I will tell you a little bit about my book. It's Life on Your Terms. And uh, it, when you buy that book from Amazon, if you go get the, the, the book from Amazon, I'm going to give you a $497 training absolutely as a bonus. And it's on mastery. It's how you master your mindset, your attitude, your behaviors, anything you want to learn is about how we master skill and become better at what we do. Because when we become better, it gets easier. When it gets easier, we become better. And so I want to give you that bonus training. It's a video training. It's online. You know, you, you'll have access to it when you purchase the book. Go to my website, rexsykes.com, R-E-X-S-I-K-E-S.com. You'll see a picture of my book. Click on that, and it'll give you all the details for for what you do, how you make your purchase, how you get the free training, and it'll be delivered to you electronically. So please go do that. And what a powerful person Mr. Shore is. What an incredible attitude, an attitude of gratitude, an attitude of joy, an attitude of wonder, an attitude of goodness and kindness and generosity, the ability to, to pay it forward and want to help other people. Because when you help other people, you actually do help yourself. The ancients knew this years and years and years and eons ago that if you were feeling bad, the best thing you could do was go find somebody who was worse off than you and help them feel better. Uh, what an amazing 
time we've spent. Uh, by the way, you know, they say that in order for a person to develop a taste for a food they do not like, they should try it at least 11 times, 11 or 12 times, because it's that repeated exposure for which the brain and the taste buds develop a familiarity. So if you have a child who doesn't like a particular food, you, you continually to expose them to it. And after enough exposures, oftentimes the child or the adult will tend to like that food or enjoy that food more than they would have otherwise. You know, you try it once you go, oh, that's bad. I'm never gonna do that again. But with little repeated exposure, now here's the interesting thing. You read a book 11 or 12 times, you start to make that material yours. So whether it's my book, Barry's book, Think and Grow Rich, whatever it is, we encourage you to read and reread and read and reread and study it because you read it once and you put it on the shelf, it's information. But the proper fruit of knowledge is action. It's to apply the material. To, to know and not to do is to not know. So the things that you've learned, that you've heard from Barry today, I encourage you to watch the show, this show repeatedly, and I encourage you to share it forward. And that goes for any of my shows, because I've had, this is show number six. I've had six incredible gifts, gifts, and I meant that, gift as guests, because they are truly gifts to all of us. And they're here to inspire and to uplift and to edify and to help you and me live more successfully, happily, and more joyfully. And with that, again, I want to thank Mr. Barry Shore. Go to his website, barryshore.com. Get these beautiful cards. I was looking for the one card, uh, quite, quite uh, uh, trying to find a lot of them. I mean, I've got to go through a lot of them. I only grabbed a few of them uh, that he mentioned, and it was difficult. I, I couldn't find it yet, but I will. I'll find it in the back. But all of these wonderful cards, you can get them for free. You know, it's shipping, but it is free to get these cards. And they are wonderful at barryshore.com. And, um, and so that's just a sample of a few of them. If you go to barryshore.com, you'll see John Travolta holding them. You'll see other celebrities. You'll see Jack Canfield who are holding these cards. You too. In fact, if you go to my Instagram, you'll see a picture of me holding a smile card. So you want to do that. Get his book and, and become a follower and a fan. Listen to the podcast. You're going to be so glad that you did. And I'm so glad that you were here today. I'm so grateful for the LA time for giving us this time together. We'll be back next Thursday with another guest. I promise you're going to love this person. And, and in the future, other incredible guests. So I want to thank everyone who's listened today, watched today, commented in the chat room. And for all of you, go ahead, hit the likes, leave comments, forward the show, share the show, subscribe, and have a great and beautiful day. And... Um, to everybody, I always say this, and that is, if you consider everything a blessing, then everything is a blessing. So remember that, and then celebrate everything. And with that, I'm Rex Sykes. See you next time.